All right, the last thing for this multi-story house design is to create a cover page. By using a Google drawing, we can arrange images in this 3 by 3 grid, leaving a center section here for information about your design. We're looking for the number of bedrooms, the number of bathrooms, the square footage of living space, number of acres in your name. This is nothing more than a text box. But for the images, we want to render images from ArchiCAD. So we want eight images total, a few inside, a few outside, showing off your design. Think of it as like a real estate listing. Where are they going to see? So in order to render, I'm going to start with an exterior picture. And I'll do one here on the inside. We're going to keep this pretty simple. In the grand scheme of things. But once I get the view orientation on my screen, I want to go to Documents and Creative Imaging. One thing that makes the layout for the cover page very convenient is the Render Safe frame. If I elongate this picture, make it in landscape like on your screen, the Render Safe frame, we can actually control the size. We can turn this on now, which I recommend that you do. We can also turn it on in photo render settings. But what that is going to do is gray out the left and right hand side. Whatever is in between this area is actually what is going to render. Um, I think it's based on pixel size. It's 800 by 600. That ratio works out perfectly for a sheet of paper. You don't have to do cropping and resize. Well, you have to resize, but you don't have to do as much cropping as you insert these images because with the render safe frame on, you know exactly what's going to render. And the proportion is then correct. Render settings. Creative imaging, render settings. We will get a dialog box. And it looks like this. By default, you are in Sin Render option. This could work, but I'd imagine it is going to take terribly long to do so. It is very, very detailed, and there's a lot more control over a lot of the settings. I am highly suggesting that we go with our basic rendering. If you have not put on the Render Safe Frame yet, by going to our size, we can apply that render safe frame with this check mark. So yeah, 800 by 600. And I wouldn't even change this. I'd leave, especially leave the ratio alone. From there, instead of using best, the paper quality that we're using, the printer quality, in terms of just saving some time, I would turn these settings down. Maybe go to better instead of being best here. Maybe go to good. Have the sun turned on. And everything else usually falls into place here. Transparency. Like if you were inside, you could see through the glass to the outside. It would be something with transparency. One thing that you may want to change and you won't know until after you render, in most cases, is the brightness. Typically, when you're taking an exterior image, you can turn the brightness scale down. When you're inside, typically we turn this up. And again, you probably won't know until you render one, but if you're going to render exterior images and you find the brightness the way you want it, I'd leave it there. So I am going to now take a photo, and it will render one out. So my brightness, I guess I should wait till it's done. Is OK. Maybe it's a little dark. So. If I want to change that, don't save that one. 
I'm going to slide that scale up a little bit. I'm going to run the same one again. And we want to save these images as JPEG files. So as this finishes rendering, shadows are being cast. I can see into the house just a little bit here through the windows. If this is the image that I want to use, I am now going to save this image as a JPEG file. From there, you could call it exterior one, rear, rear of the house. You want eight total. All right, so I've got this one. Let's do one that's inside. So right now I haven't changed the brightness. I'm still kind of right there in the middle. As I position myself inside, again, my render safe frame is already on. I want to show off the kitchen design. Just trying to find a spot in the room where I can capture the layout as best as possible. Let's try over here. That's better. Not through a wall. And you will notice if you are through a wall, when you go to render, it will be blank. It's because you're halfway in between a wall. So I think I captured this area of the kitchen pretty well. And I'm going to render one. So you may find this to be a little dark. Well, now the roof is on. We only natural lights coming in through the windows. So after this renders out, okay, it's not that great. I'm going to try it with being a little bit brighter. It might be too bright. We'll find out. Ooh, that's too bright with that white background. Oops, sorry. Whether this is the brightness I want or not, I'm going to go with this one. All right, so I've rendered out an interior image. I just happened to use the kitchen file, save as a JPEG kitchen, interior one, whatever you're going to call that. So we can insert them into our Google drawing for our catalog page. So render safe frame, that grayed out area makes formatting the cover page much easier. Save them as a JPEG. I've turned some of these settings down just to speed the process up. And we will then take those images, create a text box to create our cover page.